Columbia residents are voicing their opinions about a new road project. Columbia Public Works met tonight to show residents plans for a new roundabout at Chapel Hill and Fairview Road. ABC 17's Lindsay Burning was at that meeting. She joins us now live at that intersection. And Lindsay, Columbia Public Works says the intersection is rated F in level of service. It is Marissa and Public Works says installing a new roundabout here at the intersection of Chapel Hill and Fairview would bring that rating up to a B. But the majority of residents I spoke to at that meeting tonight tell me they're skeptical of the project. Columbia drivers know Chapel Hill and Fairview Road as a busy four way stop intersection. Columbia Public Works says its F rating means it has potential to back up traffic during peak hours. If we can do an improvement that make it more efficient and more safe, it, it reduces fuel costs, uh, helps the environment because there's less carbon emissions. Um, things like that are what we're looking for. The proposed 110 foot roundabout would cost about $600,000. That money would come from the capital improvement sales tax voters approved last August. But many residents who attended the interested parties meeting at Fairview Elementary School tonight say they're concerned with it affecting pedestrian safety. At least with the stop signs, people know they have to slow down. But if you put in a roundabout at that situation, people know all they have to do is keep going and merge onto the, onto the roundabout. But Public Works says a roundabout would make it safer for pedestrians. What roundabouts do is, is physically create a, a, a barrier for cars so they can't enter at speed. And I, I like to think of it as a more cushion for air. Other concerns residents shared with me include a decrease in property values and drivers not being able to slow down enough on the hill in icy conditions. Ann Velick says she would rather see a setup like the intersection of Forum and Green Meadows with turning and merger lanes. I think that that would be a lot safer for most of the people in the community. Construction on the project is set to begin next year. Tonight, Fourth Ward Councilman Ian Thomas was at that meeting getting concerns and inputs from residents on the project. The Public Works will present its plans to the City Council after weighing um, the concerns they heard tonight from residents. Reporting live in Columbia, Lindsay Burning, ABC 17 News. Lindsay, thank you. We checked emergency dispatch, and there have been no crashes reported, at least, at that intersection in the past year.